Ever wondered if thinking about nothing is actually thinking about something? Well, welcome to the paradox of meditation. It's the mental version of if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there, does it make a sound? And just like that, you're already chuckling. That's the power of humour. It's our secret ingredient to make the journey to mindfulness not just enlightening, but also entertaining. So, stick around as we dive deeper into the world of meditation, mental health, and of course, laughter. Ever heard the one about meditation being just for monks in remote mountains? Or that you need to empty your mind completely to meditate correctly? Well, it's time to bust these myths wide open. Meditation, despite its ancient roots, often gets a reputation as something shrouded in mystery, reserved only for those who can achieve a state of complete mind emptiness, or those who have renounced all worldly possessions. But let's get one thing straight. If your mind is completely empty, you probably need to check your pulse, not your meditation technique. Now, let's tackle the monk myth. Sure, meditation does have its roots in spirituality. And yes, monks do meditate. But saying meditation is only for monks is like saying smartphones are only for tech wizards. Meditation is a tool, accessible to all, whether you're a busy parent, a student, a CEO, an artist, or yes, even a monk on a remote mountain. Another common misconception is that meditation requires you to sit in the lotus position for hours on end. Well, guess what? Not all of us are as flexible as a gymnast or have the free time of a retiree. Meditation can be done in any comfortable position and even a few minutes can make a difference. So, whether you're perched on a mountaintop or nestled in your office chair, you're good to go. How about the idea that meditation is all serious and solemn? Absolutely not. Meditation can be light, fun, and even involve a good laugh. Ever tried laughing meditation? It's a real thing and it's as joyful and beneficial as it sounds. Lastly, the notion that you must chant or hum during meditation. While some find this helpful, it's not a requirement. If you're more into silent contemplation or focusing on your breath, that's perfectly fine. Remember, there's no one size fits all in meditation. So as we can see, meditation isn't as mystical or complicated as it's often made out to be. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate those times when meditation doesn't quite go as planned. Let's start with one of the most common meditation mishaps, falling asleep. You're all settled in, breathing deeply, and before you know it, you're snoring. This happens more often than you might think, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means your body needed rest more than meditation. So next time, maybe start your practice after a good night's sleep, not after a marathon Netflix binge. Then there's the classic wandering mind scenario. You're supposed to be focusing on your breath and suddenly you're planning your grocery list or wondering if penguins have knees. It's perfectly normal. The trick is to acknowledge the thought and gently bring your focus back to your breath. No judgments, just patience. And let's not forget about the unexpected interruptions. The phone ringing, the dog barking, or maybe your neighbor decides it's a perfect time to mow their lawn. It can be frustrating, but it's also a chance to practice patience and acceptance. Instead of getting annoyed, try to incorporate the noise into your practice. Who knows? Maybe the rhythm of the lawnmower can become your new meditation mantra. And finally, there's the I don't feel any different moment. Meditation is a subtle practice and its effects can take time to notice. Don't get discouraged. Keep going and remember to laugh at the hiccups along the way. Remember, it's not about perfection. It's about progress. And sometimes progress looks like falling asleep during your meditation session. Did you know that laughter can be a form of meditation too? Yes, indeed, laughter is often described as the best medicine. But did you know that it's also a potent form of mindfulness? When we laugh, we're fully present in the moment, not worrying about the past or future. This is the essence of mindfulness. Laughter positively affects our mental health in numerous ways. It releases endorphins, our body's feel-good hormones, reduces stress, and even enhances our intake of oxygen-rich air, stimulating our heart, lungs, and muscles. It's like a mini cardio workout. Now let's lighten the mood with some meditation humor. Have you heard the one about the meditator who was late for work? His boss asked him why, and he said, I was in the middle of my meditation and lost track of time. His boss replied, well, maybe you should meditate on being on time. Or how about the meditation student who asked his teacher how long he should meditate each day? The teacher replied, 20 minutes unless you're too busy, then you should sit for an hour. These jokes remind us not to take our mindfulness practice too seriously. After all, meditation is about finding peace and balance, not adding another stressor to our lives. 
So incorporate humor into your practice. Laugh at your own meditation mishaps, chuckle at the absurdity of life and allow yourself to find joy in the moment. So next time you find yourself struggling to find your Zen, remember, a good laugh can be just as effective. As we wrap up, let's revisit the fun and insightful journey we've had today. We've laughed, we've learned, and most importantly, we've let go of a few misconceptions along the way. Remember when we debunked that myth about meditation requiring you to completely clear your mind? Turns out even the most seasoned meditators have thoughts about what's for dinner or that embarrassing moment from third grade. It's all a part of the process. And how about those hilarious meditation mishaps? Remember, it's perfectly fine to fall asleep during meditation, just maybe not while you're driving. And if your meditation session turns into a snoring session, well, now you know you're not alone. We also took a moment to appreciate the lighter side of mindfulness, the jokes, the funny videos, and the undeniable truth that laughter is a form of meditation itself. It's a reminder that mindfulness doesn't have to be all serious and solemn. It can be filled with lightheartedness and joy. In between the laughs, we also managed to squeeze in a few quick meditation breaks. Who knew that adding a dash of humor could make these moments of mindfulness even more refreshing? So as we say goodbye, let's keep this in mind. Remember, when it comes to meditation and mental health, it's okay to not take things too seriously. Stay mindful, stay laughing, and until next time, keep finding your Zen in the zaniest of ways.